Hello people, in this video I'm going to be eating at the worst reviewed Chinese restaurant in my city. This video was inspired by my boy Philip Solo, he's the guy who created this trend on YouTube, or just style of videos rather, so go check him out if you haven't already, even though you probably have. So, I can't do this alone, I gotta do it with someone, I gotta do it with a friend. So let's go ask people and see if they want to help me out with this video. Gotta get drunk and fuck all the bitches. Hey Blueface! Why the fuck are you here? I thought I kicked you out last week. You wanna go to the worst reviewed Chinese restaurant in our city? Absolutely the fuck not. Hey German guy! Ah! Hey German guy! Was willst du? You wanna go to the worst reviewed Chinese restaurant in our city? Ich habe deine Mutter gefickt. Uh, that doesn't answer my question. Die Antwort ist nein. Hey Italian guy. Ciao ragazzo che sembra una ragazza. You want to go to the worst reviewed Chinese restaurant in our city? Vincenzo, la mia faccia è la bandiera dell'Italia. Come cazzo dovrei mangiare cibo cinese schifoso se non ho la bocca? Yeah, that is a really good point. Esattamente. Hey Mr. Skulls. What is it now? You want to go to the worst reviewed restaurant in our city? I'd rather give a porcupine a rim job than eat shitty Chinese food. Also, what does shitty Chinese food have to do with playing the ukulele? Uh, absolutely nothing. Exactly. Now, get the fuck out of here. I'm watching Pingu. Okay guys, I am in my car now, now let's go pick up the Shadow Miner himself, Jacob. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. Alright guys, I'm here at his house, now I'm just waiting for him to get ready, so we can eat some shitty Chinese food. Yay. I've been waiting here for God knows how long and he's still not here. I know he's like filming his part of the vlog or whatever. And if you want to see his side, link in the description or an end card or whatever. But still, I'm just sitting in this hot car waiting for him to come out. Like, come on, Jacob! How are you doing? Doing pretty good. So, yeah. did you find any places? Hey, what's up, guys? Yep. Jacob Chatterminer here. <laughs> yeah, I found one place. I'm not going to say the name on camera because I don't want to, like, put him down or anything. Alright. This is the place. They got two stars. Oh yeah, I was trying to find some places last night, it was pretty hard. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, let's read some of those reviews. There's a five star. We love the food here. My husband and I always have been satisfied. The quality is great. Oh. Yeah. I don't re often write reviews, but this place demands it. You could drive to the arsons of hell and eat at Panda Express there and do better. <laughs> well, he seemed like he'd, he'd put zero stars right there. Yeah. <laughs> Who, who's the people giving five stars? These, these I don't know. Good like food, good on your wallet. I guess some place... I guess some people like it. I guess it's like a hit or miss, maybe. Yeah. Should have followed the advice of the previous review. The General Tso's chicken has absolutely no spice to it. Never had Tso's chicken that wasn't spicy ever. Wow. Ooh, wow. On what planet would you consider this good Chinese food? Order multiple <laughs> dishes, and of the three, I tasted none resembling anything. We might not want to get the sushi then. Uh, do they have sushi? I don't know. Service was fine. Food not that great. I ordered the general so tofu and vegetable rice. The tofu sauce was watery and lacked flavor and spice. The tofu was cut into huge blocks, and the fried rice was completely bland. Ew. Mm. Sanitation review was 86. Ordered spring rolls. Half of them came to me still frozen, rock hard with ice in the center. <laughs> All right, I, I, I'm definitely not getting that. <laughs> okay. I kind of want to get them. We kind of have to get like multiple things just yeah, to give this just, place just, a try. All right, so I guess we got to see if these these reviews hold up. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. We're here at the restaurant. Um, we don't want to say what it is because we we don't want people to come here and seek it out. Um, 
at, at any point in this, we're even going to blur it out when we walk up. But um, at any point in this video, um, we're not trying to hate on these people. We're not trying to like throw throw shade or anything. But, no, no, no. Um, we just wanted we just got a new video idea, I guess, and we just yeah. want to try it out. Um, I guess we really don't want to go in there and get in trouble for recording. I don't know how other people has pulled it off for. I guess right now we've just kind of thrown this together a little bit. But I guess we'll see you guys inside, and I guess we're just going to see if these reviews are accurate, because that's what we're mainly looking for. Because there's one video, these guys just did this, and all the reviews were just there. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, let's do this. What was that one thing that they said was frozen? It was the spring rolls. The, the what? The, the what spring rolls. rolls. I guess that's the one we're thinking I might Yeah. <laughs> Uh. A bunch of people were acting weird. Oh yeah. Like I think one of the guy, one of them, totally just walked in as soon as I got my order, and he looked over at me like I was crazy or something. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. I guess he might have seen me recording. Oh yeah. I tried to get as much footage as I possibly could. Yeah. But that like all right, all right. So first off, I'm gonna say th this lady. She kept going back to her her seat like she didn't yeah, want to go yeah, yeah, yeah. Like as soon as you left, she went back. She went straight back to that bench. Yeah, yeah. All right. And she had her headphones in. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, yeah. Okay. So let's take a look at my food. I got the tofu. And when I first go in, this I think it's like a box of rice. It was upside down like this for some wow. reason. Uh -oh. That's how they put it in there for you. Yeah, this is just filled to the brim with rice, like in that. I can live with that. So these are, you got spring rolls. What'd yeah. you get for your entree? My entree. Was, oh wow, that's very hot. Yeah. This is that grease fire they had back there that we saw. Oh yeah, yeah. I got this. Oh wow, look at all that stuff in there. Mm. Oh. So this is what, if we were doing a grease test right now, this would fail the grease test. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's pull out mine out. Oh, that is hot. Exactly. Yeah. We tried the duck sauce yet, because that's what one of the reviews said. Yeah, one of the duck. Yeah, it was on the Google review. It said the duck sauce was terrible. Someone said the yeah the duck sauce, and we even got some. We even got some. That is not smell right. Does that smell like you? Oh. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really eat rice on the daily, so... I wouldn't know. <laughs> Straight off the bat, it's, it's very greasy in the inside. Yeah, this is... Let's take a look at mine. How much stuff of that, of whatever that liquid they do they put in yours? Appreciate sure it's just soy sauce. You can look at that. Very liquidy. Yeah. Oh well. Wow. Like this, this, this stuff is gonna be pouring out with like, <clears throat> That was why I put it over the bag. Yeah, and there was also like a piece of cardboard at the bottom. For me at least. Cardboard. Yeah, it was like just like this. Huh. Oh, man. Never seen that happen. They might do the, that, that. That's gotta mean something. This this must be frozen. Like you know those frozen dinners you just cook up. You know, mm. throw a little shit in there. Right, I'm gonna try a piece of tofu. Oh, you, you got forks, right? I got a fork. Oh, you should probably go in and get one. No, I just I just did it this way. You just do it like that. You're just gonna eat it with your hands. There's some flavor. Not horrible tasting. Yeah, I don't think I want to go back in there because, especially since the way that one guy looked at me, I felt like I could have gotten kicked out at any moment. So, <laughs> so far, what, what do you think? It's not terrible. At least, like, you can eat it. Would you say it tastes any, any way like frozen or something? Not right now, no. But the it is really, bite, really hot. The first bite I had, very rubbery. Oh, yeah. Very rubbery. Tastes like that, that kind of chicken you would get from, like you would get, it's been, tastes like they cooked it 
Well, it tastes like it was frozen. They cooked it, and they put it back in the freezer, and they recooked it. We should we should have got napkins. Well, you have one napkin. Yeah, I got a few. We'll try the grease test. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll do... Okay, there you go. You try with yours. It's very liquidy. It's almost kind of like a soup. I could just... I could just... Stick this in the bottom, and it would, and it would drench this. So we might not, we 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 might not even need to do the grease test. <laughs> it's it very liquid. You, you, you can see the grease. So far, nothing uncooked. That's good. That's uh, all very hot. Nothing's uncooked. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now you got egg rolls. Yeah. Or spring rolls, rather. And right off the bat. These don't even feel that they they outside the wrapper they don't even feel that cold. I'm gonna have one. And these things are hard. Like. Okay. I mean, I got the duck sauce. It's getting a little bit unreal for me. I'm not sure about yours, but like, it's it, it's just too chewy. It's like you're chewing chewing gum. Let's try this. It just looks like regular duck sauce. It is chewier than usual. Yeah, most of the food we're having is right now is just chewed, chewy. It was like hard on the outside, chewy on the inside. I mean, it was hard on the outside and chewy on the inside, but taste-wise, it wasn't terrible. No. We think they overcooked a little bit. Maybe I don't know. Right off the bat, just sitting in my lap, this stuff is really hot. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Look at my hand. That's just from the dude. This, this thing would fail the grease test mm. so bad because it's getting all over our hands. I'm gonna wrap this in the napkin. Dude, this fails the grease test so bad. <laughs> it is really dude, dude, look at this napkin. Look at this napkin. This napkin is soaked. I just wrapped it. <laughs> well, I just like, wrapped this egg roll. You can like see through it. You, dude, yeah, you, I, I can see my hand. It is that like, <laughs> you, you know, usually you can't just rip like, like yeah. grease that easy, but okay. that is. That is crazy. Yeah, that, that is that is this. <laughs> yeah. Now I got yeah. and and you can see it on the side. Like we didn't even need to do a grease test because you can just literally see it coming out. And this stuff is, and this is hard. So usually whenever something's this greasy, it's it should be soft. I don't know what this is, but it's really crunchy. It doesn't really have much flavor. You don't know. They could be just like throwing random ingredients in here. They I have no just, idea what it is. It's a little spicy. They could be taking could some really fresh it. stuff and mixing it with some old stuff. Yeah. Some restaurants will do that, by the way, guys. Watch out for that. There's some restaurants that will try to pull off the whole, okay, you know, it's half cooked or it's been used before, but we don't want to get rid of it. So to save money, we're just going to take it and kind of put it into new food. And some restaurants get away with it and some get shut down for that. And So far, how would you say the reviews are holding up? I mean... Quality wise, not the greatest. Don't Taste know. is okay. I mean, it's like I can eat it for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, I you, you can definitely eat it. Yeah. How'd that duck sauce taste? I mean, it didn't really taste like normal duck sauce. Oh yeah. Did it have a waxy taste to it? Or? I don't know. It just didn't taste like normal duck sauce. Oh look at that. <laughs> There's just grease everywhere. Yeah. No wonder people really don't eat here that often. Yeah. No wonder we were like the only customers except for that one guy. Oh yeah. I got a fortune cookie. Cause like how the fuck can you mess up a fortune cookie? Yeah, like how do you mess up fortune cookies? <laughs> Alright. And you get ready to try one. I'm having to like fold this over because all this grease is just coming out of this pan. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm trying Wait. not to oh, ruin no, no. your car here. You are careful and systematic in your business arrangements. Learn Chinese. Fat. Fei. <laughs> <laughs> did, I, 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 did they just did they just insult us on a fortune cookie? <laughs> wow. They Let's said, go with the taste you, test. They said you guys are just we don't, we don't want you guys filming here so. I think it's a little crunchier than usual, but at the same time, it just tastes like any fortune cookie. Yeah. Stale. Any taste? I think a little crunchy mm -hmm. than usual, I would expect. But taste-wise, it's just fine. 
yeah, here's this restaurant. We've noticed there's, there's been a common theme. It's just either a lot chewier than usual, crunchier than usual, greasy, greasier than usual. Like, dang, this is wax paper, and the grease is eating away at the wax paper. Oh, wait, I got rice. Oh, we just got rice. This is just like filled to the brim with like white rice. Oh yeah, I thought there was supposed to be something in the rice. It's there was like, like literally rice take a stuck bite to this. Mine, because I just didn't get right off the bat. It's got the same rice flavor. Yeah, but it's just, it's very sticky kind of. Yeah, it's sticky rice because you can see it on the yep. lid of the container. It's very sticky. Let's try mixing this with my Sichuan sauce or whatever. Oh, what did you say about the, what did you say about the taste of the rice? I mean, it just tastes like regular rice, but it's just really sticky. This mixed with the sauce, not bad. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of do like the roll. Yeah, but. It's just like the texture of it. Yeah. It's like like how I said, it's like the flavor isn't bad. It's just texture wise. And also, um, now that we got our food eaten and stuff, I'm just gonna say they could use better either better employees or better attitude. I mean they did have a now hiring sign. But I think yeah. it was mainly for drivers. Yeah, mainly for drivers. But who would want to drive for them? I don't know. Like, as soon as you left, like I told you, she went right back to listening to her headphones and putting her headphones in. Like, she didn't want to be, like she didn't want to be here. As soon as we walked in, I seen she had her headphones in as well. And then when he went to the bathroom, she got up and then gave us the eye roll like she didn't want to be here. Hmm. I've noticed it took her a little bit to get our food out, kind of. Yeah. It was also weird... You ordered before me, but I got my food first. Yeah. So I, I, I noticed that too. I think I just found a hair in my food. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick. Yeah, there it is. Dude, that that is one hair. <laughs> Who knows how many hairs is in this? What would you rate this meal? I'm happy to give it a two. A two out of. Two out of ten. Two out of ten. I don't know. It's like the flavor is good, but it's just the texture. It's meh. The quality is meh. I like the flavor. Like you said, I like the texture. Or don't like the texture. Um, they could watch. They could watch it with their calories. Like if you were sitting here eating this food, like so far, this is not got on the seat, but it's got all over the bag, and it's like running out of your plate. So if you ever want to eat this in your car. That car better not be a nice car. because. <laughs> Let's just see how. Look at all that juice. That is a lot. <laughs> yeah. They went overboard. Yeah. So, you know, some restaurants, they, they, they like to give you the most minimum of something, like, say, for instance, at McDonald's or something. Yeah. But these guys just threw it at you. They just yeah. said, just take like, all of our juice. I know you guys. Okay, that had, that had some cold in it a little bit. Would you say that pizza was undercooked or? It looks cooked. But I think they just took it out of the freezer and just threw it back on the grill. Or it wasn't cooked and they just threw it on the tank, took it out of the freezer, put it out there. And okay, so like the more that the bottom I get, the more it doesn't want to separate, the more it doesn't want to chew right. The more it's like I like the more down I get, the more terrible it gets. I would say I kind of see why it's rated, what was it, two stars, three stars? Two stars on Yelp. And it was like 3.2 on Google reviews. I kind of see that. Yeah. I, I kind of see that rating yeah. because did anybody mention the employee at all on Yelp? I mean, I think I saw a few on the Google review. And this place also delivers, so I think a few of them were complaining about the length of delivery. Because if I if I was to if I was to say anything, like if it, this might be a new th a new review, because I would say the way the employee was singing her singing at the area, it's on it's on the footage. I'll it's like right here, where she was singing on the the side, just listening to her music, and she was jamming out, and she wasn't really paying attention to until we walked in. Like usually, good business will be at the register. Before you walk in, but 
there's no customers there. And I kind of see why. So is that it? I guess that's it. All right. Um, I don't even know what to say about this. Um, Probably not going to come back here. Never. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. This is the, uh, the first time and last time I'll ever probably hear. Yeah. I guess if, they, if they're watching us, what do we want to say? Mm. This food sucks. Get better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, like I said, flavor-wise, it's. I mean, you can eat it, but I've had better. Yeah. The more to the bottom I get with this chicken, the more it starts tasting like wax. Oh yeah. That, I'm pretty sure that's why they drouched it in that's... that juice just to give that flavor. Yeah. Most restaurants do that. They'll if they know the food's been cooked before and then they put it back in the freezer and they recook it, it gets rid of the flavor over time the more and more yeah. they do that. They'll just cover it up with some kind of sauce. Yeah. Alright, well that pretty much wraps it up. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and Jacob's channel. And don't forget Billy. Nasty. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Billy Naos. How do you say Billy Nastios Vlog. Nastios is he for just being our friend. He just yeah. wanted a shout out. Alright. Later. Thanks.